boy KG for life here with a YouTube video and the today's YouTube video is about season 9 cookie alliance okay people always tend to ask me if I should start doing videos like this and I'm actually gonna start doing videos like these um as you can see just off of the rip just coming I'm dead <laughs> I'm live by the way, so if you have not yet come by and hit that follow button over here by Twitch, you might as well go ahead and do that now because I mean you're gonna be hearing most of the sounds that come through on my end either way because I am too lazy to edit. Anywho, um we got a brand new team. Oh yes, Daddy. And the brand new team isn't the normal pure vanilla dark cow. Uh, you know, that team that we normally would see. Uh, today we are rocking pure, uh, Purple Yam, Eclair, uh, Clotted Cream, Cream Unicorn, which is one of the brand new healer cookies that is actually really good. If you don't have them built yet, you're missing out. And as always, and will never ever not be a part of a guild team, uh, Cotton. Cotton cookie will always be a part of mostly any single team you use nowadays. Um, before we get to the toppings, we're using uh, different top, different uh, different treasures this time. We're using the attack scroll. We're using the crit scroll this time, and we're using the uh, cooldown scroll. Alright, and the reason why we're using the crit scroll, and I'm going to go ahead and read over here with you right now, is magic cookies, bomber cookies, and healing cookies all are getting a, a huge buff for this season. Uh, bombers are plus 8, magic is plus 8, and healing cookies crit is plus 10. So the heals that the cookies are doing this season are going to be insane. Alright, so let's get to the toppings, shall we? Alright, um... Toppings, as you can see here, Purple Yam is running at a 48.5% damage resist. Um, like I said, when it comes to builds of this stature and everything that's going on with these types of builds for Cookie Alliance, so on and so forth, you're focusing on damage resist, okay? That's what you're focusing on. So, we got here uh, damage resist as the main substat that you're looking for um all these other ones really does not matter to you to begin with because they don't matter with purple yam because purple yam has that that uh that buff that he gives when he gets the four stacks so it doesn't really matter at that point um right now we're switching over to clotted cream cookie instead of i think it's dark cow we're placing him out with or with yeah pretty much dark cow um and he is running a full searing raspberry set as again as i'm gonna let you know damage resist is your best friend a little bit of cooldown and a little bit more crit so you're pretty much you're you're focusing on those main three things which is great to see um and that's pretty straightforward attack percentage is at 47.9 percent, so we're doing good there uh, with the Claire, we're running a full Swift Chocolate build with 22% damage resist and 18.9% cooldown. If you can get the cooldown a little bit higher, probably in a 19% range, you'll be happy. Um, it's pretty much all I can get right now is what you see here. But your main two stats that you're looking for is damage resist and cooldown on Eclair. Next, we're going with Cotton. Cotton has a pretty much balanced build for all around right now because like i said i don't have the necessary adjustments to get what i need for her um so right now we're sticking with damage resist 24.2 percent cooldown 21.1 percent uh if you can get more as i always tell you if you can get more get more if you can't you can't it doesn't really doesn't really make a difference there but that's pretty much a good balanced build for her right now um next uh um cream unicorn cream unicorn is running at a 14.7 percent damage just 18.2 percent cooldown your main two stats that you need to focus on are those two um and the reason why you see this this way again as i said again i am broke i cannot get what i need for this but this team right here in its entirety will get you to at least round 45 at 
Um, maybe not for me, but it'll at least get you to Masters. It, as long as your team is built up, has the right stuff set up on them, it's you're pretty straightforward there. All right. So, without further ado, let's get into the into our first run. And Oh, we was able to get past the wave too like that. Actually, that's perfect. I actually forgot about that. It's good to see. Alright, let's see what this team can do. So the first boss that you really fight is Mango Cookie. That's pretty much the first boss you fight for right now. See, the thing is with the... And there goes a uh, Cream Puff Cookie as well, by the way. So there's also her. And I would always tell y'all this and do it this way as well. And you're going to see me do it too. Um... The one thing you want to do is if you're as close to Masters as you can get and your first team does die, don't be afraid to switch out to the other teams that you got, the other five, other four teams that you have available, okay? And the reason why I say that because if you can get the Masters, by all means, do it. Don't think about it. Don't worry about it too much. Just switch the teams out, and you're going to see me do that here in this run to get as maximum as I can get. Next is going to be Onion Cookie. We're already at wave 12 already, by the way, so it's not too, too bad. Not too shabby. They already killed already, so now we're moving on to the next ones. Key moments in this whole entire thing is all have to deal with... Uh, with the cookie comp teams. There's cookie comp teams that are in this game right now. In season nine, there's a bunch. And you gotta be careful with who you are using. And the reason why we're using the crit one instead of the healing one, you can actually switch to the healing one if you want to, the monocle, if you really want to, you can switch to it. But the reason why we're using the crit is so we can get that healing crit off of the healers. So that they get the best healing crit that they can actually use it to their advantage which is not that bad i enjoy it a little bit i do like that clotted creep clotted creep cookie oh look it's raspberry now the only thing that that's weird about this whole entire thing is that um raspberry does not get hit with um she doesn't get hit with the cage i don't like that they should have the cookies be hit with the cage exactly how it is in pvp that's my idea the crits matter i'm gonna tell you that right now the crits really do matter As you can see, we've made it to 556,000 right now. We're, we're pretty much set into the gold up into diamond a little bit already. So we're doing pretty good. Doing a lot more better than we think. See the crits, as you can see from the healing that's happening right now, they, they're doing a lot of healing because of that crit increase. That crit increase works out so well, and people don't realize that. Okay, we're gonna have a problem with this boss here because he likes to stun us too much. I hate bosses that stun, they do so annoying. Alright, we're at the 766k range, which is not that bad. We're doing really well. Oh, 
We're already, we're, we are already having problems, as you can see already. We're getting to the point of almost no return of our cookies almost dying, by the way. But, as I always said from the beginning, once it comes to the point of your cookies are dying, just switch to your other available teams to, to make it past where you can make it to. Just try to make it past there as much as you can. Alright, so it's only him and her. We're probably gonna die here. Almost died there, by the way. Almost. Alright, now we're in the mill. We're in the million, the million range. So we already made it to Masters already. So, that's not too bad that we already made it to Masters. We're actually doing really good right now. We're doing a lot better than I actually thought. I'm not going to lie to y'all. We're doing a lot better. And since he clear killed um, the boss, we get that shield. That's going to help us way more. The good thing about staying right here, in this little section right here, we get our cookies back up to almost full health. And now it's Latte and Espresso now. Oh well, they get, they actually got a, they did get um. they got gated, which is perfect. Alright, we're already at 26. Okay, this is another cookie battle right here again, which is no, which is actually not a decent battle to, to fight against, by the way. Alright, we got the shield, but it looks like we're about to die here. Uh, yeah. It's parfait, so we may not die here. May not. It's go wow. You saw what happened with the, with, uh, with um, him. That's insane. Get your health back, people. Get your health back. Get the health back. Come on. No, purple yam is dead. No. Okay, that's when the teams are gonna come out. But we've already made it to Masters. Can we make it farther? We could try. So like I told you, yeah, you can use this one team to get as far as you, as I've gotten, okay? Which I've gotten very far. 1.3 mil. Not too shabby. But the idea is here, you're going to want to wait till all three of your teams are almost... All of your cookies are almost dead. So there goes one down already. So we're down to two. And then let's ready up this. And see, we already made it to Masters, so all we're doing right now is trying to make the best bang for our buck. And trying to get more points, you know what I mean? That's pretty much all we're trying to do here, is get a little tiny bit more bang for our buck. And it may work, it may not work, but we can, we can, we can literally try. It's down two, then we're gonna move down. They're already gone. But hey, it's not bad at all for us. I'm not going to lie to y'all. We, we're still good. You just want to use all of your teams. Once you reach the Masters, if your team can keep on... This team right here, if this team can keep on going, use that team. It's perfectly fine. If you want to use that team. But yeah. And we're done. So, after all of that's done, we're gonna go ahead and, and pop off on out of here. And we reached to Masters 4. So we got as far as we could to Masters 4. Which, like I've so told y'all, if if you can, you'll probably get to Masters, th Masters 5 or Masters, just Masters in general. I would say, it's the best thing for your buck to try to do that because excuse me this season ends in 25 days so we still got 25 more days till this season ends and that's going to give you 
depending on where you are in this in this area it's gonna give you a lot of gems and especially for for your guild as well top 30 percent and getting 2200 so i'd recommend getting yourself into doing these and getting them done and getting them out of the way and and being happy because once you get the masters you don't got to do it again you just gotta and this is also another thing you can do just do this get one boom boom kills the first boss since you since you've already beat it already you just exit And once you exit, you just restart it and claim your stuff. See, boom. And you that's how you pretty much get all your relics done. Um, if you don't have all your relics done in your guild yet, I think that's your best your best planned effort to do that. So this has been your boy KG4 Life with a video to help you guide your way through Season 9 Cookie Alliance. Um, I really do hope this has helped you, and I really hope that you'll like, comment, share, subscribe, and come say hi uh, on Twitch. I'm live almost every day. Um, it seems like I am going to have to be switching my schedule out a little tiny bit uh, compared to what I'm used to. So, If that's the case, uh, my Discord is down below as well. Come join the Discord, be a part of the family, and hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video and see y'all very soon bye bye